Okay, in this video I will tell you about Google Cloud Storage and how to use it for online storage and backup purposes. If you are a translator like me, you may be using Google Translate via its API, which means that in the Google Console you have a service called Translate API, which is turned on. You may also have noticed that there are a number of other services in, listed in the console and one such service that I found interesting was Google Cloud Storage, which I have also activated. Now let's have a look at the pricing of this service. You pay 12 cents of a dollar per gigabyte of data up to one tera terabyte and you pay also 12 cents for traffic if you are based in the Americas or Europe, the Middle East or Africa, uh, up to one terabyte or 21 cents if you are based in the Asia Pacific area. The good news is that Google has a free trial until the end of June of this year, whereby you get five gigabyte of storage for free and 25 gigabyte of uh, traffic. So I decided to use this service and uh, therefore I have uh, an option called Google Cloud Storage which is listed in my console. If I click here I get some information that is relevant for the service and there is for instance a storage manager or online browser. It's the same thing. I will open it. Basically this is a very simple file manager and the way Google, Google Cloud Storage works is with buckets. Buckets are like top level folders and here I have created uh, three buckets. If I want to create a new bucket for my YouTube videos for instance, I can select new bucket and if I call it YouTube, here is what will happen. It will tell me that the name is not available because buckets must have unique names in the Google Cloud Storage uh, user base. So I will call it instead uh, something like dummy YouTube videos and I will probably be more lucky with this one. Yes, it has been accepted so I can open that bucket. Uh, I could create folders in it. I can upload a file. So this is what I will be doing now. I will upload an mp4. Now I will pause the video until the file is uploaded. Okay, now my video has been uploaded. Uh, it's private by default. If I want to make it public, I can click here. Now it's public and I get a link that I can share if I want or I can make it private again. So it's a very basic file manager but we will see that it's possible to use uh, Google Cloud Storage in a much more sophisticated way with a third party software called Cloudberry Online Backup. So I'll go back to my console and uh, one important thing is this interoperable access, this is the place where I can find my access key and my secret key. And I will need these keys when using Cloudberry Online Backup. So I will tell more about uh, this backup software in the next video.